Hello, everyone, and I'm Lynn from Run It Back, and joining me today is XRES. So for those of you who don't know, they are a roster that has been competing in both the Game Changer scene as well as main circuit tournaments. So XRES, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having us. to you, yeah. <laughs> so if you wouldn't mind, could you kind of introduce yourselves and then introduce the team as well? Uh, well, my name is Bums. I am the IGL for XRES. I have been with this team since pretty much since June. We've been pretty much like competing together most recently with the newest additions, Claudia and Jasper. And Lex for the most part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much like a really solid dynamic. And you can speak to my Astra main and Claudia. <laughs> What the? Um, Claudia, you may speak now. I mean, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> Introduce myself. I mean, Oof. I'm the Astro Man. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. What do I say? Introduce yourself. Yeah, just a little bit about yourself and like how long. So, how long have you been playing Valorant for? Um, so, oh my god, how long have I been playing? <laughs> I've been playing for like a year and a half now. Um, I started playing a little bit of CSGO when I first got my PC. And Valorant just came out as soon as I started playing CSGO. And I was like, damn, like, what, is, what do I play now? Because I love both games. Um, so then I started playing Valorant. I didn't really like it that much, if I'm being honest. But, <clears throat> <clears throat> but uh, once Galarin's came out, I kind of like fell in love with just competing because it just gave women a chance to play. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just commit my life to Valorant. <laughs> As you should, Queen. As <laughs> she was so in pain. All right, all right. No, that's a good intro. And then um, my amazing cypher rat, Jasper. Uh, I go by Jasper or Jasmine. Um... I've played probably since, no, not probably. I know, since beta, actually. Um, I never played CS at all. I did play COD at some point, but I don't really count it. Uh, I also joined, like, Gallant's... I don't know, Bumps. Like, do you remember when I met you? Like, was it last year or was it, like... Last year? Okay, so last year I joined Gallant's very freshly, and my first team was Valkyrie. And that's how I oh, met I Lindsay, and then I met Bums right after for a pug team. And yeah, I don't know. I just loved competing, and then I just liked seeing my improvements keep going and stuff. Okay. And last but not least, <laughs> my W key menace, my jet player, my crackhead, Lex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Bailey. My IGN is Lex. Um, I started playing Valorant in the beta, and um, I was just a, a ranked demon, I guess you could call it, until last September, September 2021, when I joined NMG, and then I played KVL on the weekends for fun, and that's when I met Bums, and she uh, poached me from NMG, and I've been playing with Resilience since November. Um, and we've been having a great time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, so basically you all are, have come from like different teams in the scene and then just came together uh, to mm -hmm. meet this like power roster. So that's, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I definitely poached them for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, you didn't poach me. I was dropped from Serenity, okay? Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, with your your experience though, you you all or most of you mentioned Galarins. So, I wondered if you could touch a little bit on maybe how you found Galarins and then what have you done through the Galarins server? Hmm. Personally, me, whenever I got introduced on Galarins, I was I was plat at the time, like I wasn't like the best player, but I was kind of decent, I guess. 
my best friend actually she doesn't play valorant anymore but she introduced me to valorant server and that's when i got like connected to like different types of people and was able to pretty much like connect myself with different teams that are looking for one and looking for scrims if i wanted to like play against a female team and it's just like really nice because like the moderators actually do take care of the community really well and they do like make it very inclusive especially for marginalized genders you know that have been like bashed from like the community for whatever reason when they're just people too just like us um but that's very much like my experience with gallerns and like and i'm actually grateful for them otherwise i'm pretty sure we wouldn't even be this expanded in valorant right now true did did any of you compete in the community Gal leagues, leagues? Mm -hmm. i loved gal leagues that's how like i initially started so when i joined gallerns um it was through a friend he like kind of just told me about it and was like you know if you ever want to make like new girlfriends and stuff because you don't have that many um just join this yes it was an insult <laughs> <laughs> like, you can just join this and like go check it out so when i joined i was initially stuck plat barely peaking diamond um and that's when my first team valkyrie they found me and then that's how I made my friends and played in the galleries and stuff. Other than that, like the only connection I really have to Galerians is just the VCT events or like any other uh, small events that they hold. Interesting. So um, it, it's, it's great to see that a team that many of the players have had a root in Galerians and starting in the community leagues they're now playing in basically the main circuit VCT. So I'm curious as to what led you to want to sign up for the main VCT quals and what has driven you to, to compete in those quals? So our goal is to not only be the best team in the female scene, but we want to be the best in the world because we want to show these men that females are equal and we're not going to do anything to get to that point. I don't care how much sweat will come off of our heads. I don't care how much blood and tears we have to shed, I guess. Um, but honestly, I feel like most female teams, they should be playing in those. Because the thing is, it literally broadcasts your, your skills. It shows what improvements you need to do. And if you want to become the best, you have to basically play the best and you have to just keep climbing your way up. So any females teams that haven't been participating in those, you like, if you want to be the best, if you want to beat cloud nine white, that is your chance to do so. Yeah. So yeah, I feel the passion behind that for sure. Like <laughs> I know that Mel recently tweeted, like basically what you, you were saying as well about how the team should be competing. So what do you think is the thing like holding the teams back from from competing um i believe there's like a lot of obviously everyone has like things going on in life like with financial standings family like not supporting because trust me like i'm going through all of that so like i get it mm -hmm. but the thing is like if you want it like you will make time for it like no matter what no matter how much hate and like how much bash that you get like on a daily basis like you know what you want. You know you have the drive for it. It's just like you just got to put your mind to it. And I feel like some of those, like, limitations, like, limit females. Especially uh, roster is always being changed. Like, it's like that same synergy isn't always there anymore. You know, everyone just disbands and they just go on separate teams and you have to rebuild from scratch. You know, so I also feel like that's also, like, a little setback that most uh, female teams go through. And... The thing is, the process is never going to be fast. You know, there's so many people that want to be signed, this and that. The thing is, like, do you have the commitment? Do you have the work ethic? Do you have the drive for it? Do you have the time that you can make out of your day? Like, no matter what's going on, it's like, can you do that to achieve your goals? You know, that's something that people need to start asking themselves because people think, oh, I'm going to join this female team. And after two weeks, we're going to get signed. It's like, it doesn't work like that. They want to have a team that's going to improve daily. They want progression, you know, and it's like, we got given what you got. You want to be the best in the world. You got to prove it. I feel like, and that, Oh, no, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I feel like a lot of the women in the scene are scared 
I guess, mm -hmm. because, I mean, it is scary going into a tourney where there's a lot of men <laughs> that that have been playing this game for much longer than I have, and, like, yeah, it could be embarrassing for some people, but, like, if if you switch up that mentality and you're like, okay, like, let's learn what they do, like, let's play higher ranks, and we can adjust how we play based off of how they play. And they have, <laughs> they have better coaches, because <laughs> no one really wants to coach women's teams for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um... But also, women just don't want to, like, ruin their stats. And let me tell you, girl, my stats... <clears throat> I'm <laughs> ruined. Yeah. I don't think we've gotten 13 owed in a No, tourney. we actually haven't. No? So we're, no. we're proud of that? Even against BBG Academy, a crew, we didn't get oh 13 owed. <laughs> so True. three rounds, let's go. Three yeah, rounds against the crew. So, like... I get the mentality, like, when I first started competing, I was like, oh, if my stats are bad, no one's gonna want me, like, orgs are gonna be like, oh, she's garbage, like, just mm -hmm. don't pick her up, like, she can't kill, but if you see who they're versing, like, if we're playing in VCT with all these, like, crack teams, that just shows that, like, we're trying to get better, and we just don't care about stats, like, stats right now just isn't, isn't at the top of our list. As long as we get, like, a round together and, like, we have, like, a perfect, flawless round, like, we're proud of ourselves. Even if we <clears throat> drop, like, two kills in a turning but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't gotta talk about that. But we're not. <laughs> yeah. um, in, a, in addition to that, <clears throat> um, I think that a lot of people... Oh, my gosh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry, Never mind. Time. Never no, mind. Take your time. I believe in you. Oh, no, take your time. We were I, talking I, about uh, competing in VCT open calls and mm -hmm. how you know, yeah. Oh, and, oh, and oh you're not gonna get better if you don't get your ass whooped. And we've been getting our ass whooped a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, like we've been getting. You, it has not been fun, but mm -hmm. we're learning and we're improving as a team. Like when we first started competing in these male tourneys, we were only getting like two to three rounds. And in the most recent one we played, we've been getting we got like eight rounds, I think, against a yeah. like a male they're team. Both, both so like eight. we're improving and, and that's what matters. Oh, like, because we we're were gonna frustrated. take that. Yeah, like, we're in gonna the beginning. Both... I mean, like when we first started doing co ed tourneys, like we were like, damn, like maybe we suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry, but, <laughs> uh, but we've been improving and that's what matters, basically. Mm hmm. Going from two rounds, and then we got seven, eight rounds against a crew. Just know, we're coming for you, baby. <laughs> we're coming for you, a crew. I Yo. told Pecky. <laughs> I was really talking Pecky. I'm like, watch out. Like, we know how you guys play. We're going to start learning it. Because I love watching the VODs, dude. Like, as much as I hate seeing us get our ass whooped, there's so much to learn from it. No, we get so down after tourneys. Like, that is when true. we first started co ed, we were just like, damn, like, maybe we're like, bad and but like recently like we've been so proud of ourselves and even just getting around like on like Feels one nice. of the top teams it's like damn like we're coming up <laughs> just mm. give us 12 more <laughs> we'll get there 12 more bcts <laughs> yeah i mean that's an amazing mentality to have like that was actually one of my questions like how do you stay so positive in like unfortunately the losses that you you've had in all of these tournaments so it's all That's practice problems. it's yep. all practice to get to the the higher goal and right now our bigger goal is game changers and and putting out a positive showing for that and it's all this playing in these male tourneys co-ed tourneys is going to help us achieve that goal i mean i've yeah. said this on twitter i was going to say like there are how many game changers? Three mm -hmm. a year, and we're we're thirsty. Like we are hungry for tournaments just to compete and like show off like what we can do. So we're like, you know what? Like let's just do co-ed. Like <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe we'll win a, a few of them in the <clears throat> in the future. But <laughs> there's just not enough women's tourneys. There's a drought, and it's mm -hmm. like it's kind of upsetting because I know there's a lot of girls that play Valorant. And maybe they're just nervous or, like, can't find a team. 
But like mm-hmm. everyone started in Galarant's. So, like finding a team, Galarant's is just the way to go. Yeah, and I feel like the reason why we're just so positive, like even before, like how Cloud was saying, like we were always just so negative. We're like, damn, we're actually just dog shit. But like the thing is, we VOD reviewed. We were like, why are we this bad? Right? We focus on like our macro, we focus on our micro. We're like, this is why we were losing. So every time we go into scrim, we have a different focus every single time. And when we go back to those turnings and we see that improvement, that gives us more drive to become better. So that keeps our positivity like high because at the end of the day, we want to be that team that beats Cloud9 White. We want to be that team that beats a crew. You know, we want to beat all these like high end teams just so we can make an impact in the Valorant community. And every single one of us, we've been doubted a lot. We've been you know, released from teams. And so we want to just show them like our worth. Like we know what we want and we're just going to prove to you what we're made out of. We're also um, a goofy friend group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just we keep our vibes that. up. We had some drama a lot. I mean, I feel like every team just goes through that, but like mm-hmm. we like push through it and we just got even like stronger together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's unfortunate what like happened with all of us, but it just shows how like stronger our bond is and how easy it is for like to understand each other compared to how it was in the beginning like if i'm being honest i didn't know how claude and lex were at first i knew how bums was because she was my friend but like i was scared i'm I'm not gonna lie i was scared of lex (laughs) everyone was scared of lex (laughs) she was so like i feel like if i did anything wrong she would be so like upset or aggressive and after a while like she kind of just grew on me and I understood exactly like what she wanted, what she was and stuff. That sounds really weird. But I just love <laughs> that like every time somebody does something good in a match, like everybody says nice shot, like good shot. We always like each other's hype men and like that just keeps you going, keeping like that positive flow. Even if mm. you lose a round, it's always like nice try, we'll get it this time. Like mm. that's all it is. Like it's both match results and team energy. Yep. Get it to it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that that's an amazing mentality to, to to have. And it's been keeping you to be one of the few teams, again, like in the game changers need to compete in so many open tournaments like NSG and even the, the VCT quals. So I I'm cu- curious because you're also one of the few um unsigned game changers teams to compete in those tournaments so you touched on this earlier but um could you describe like some of the struggles in being a a free agent team or an unsigned team i think the biggest struggle is the fact that like i'll say it we're not getting paid all right (laughs) i i i want i want i want to i want some money coming in you know what i'm saying but the thing is at the same time like you got to produce results to get it uh i also feel like a lot of people look down at like free agent teams more just because like they don't have a name you know they don't have an org behind them they don't have like these resources that like sign teams have um and i feel like that might be the just like the hardest part just like how do we like get the support system out there right and obviously like what we've been doing we just been just showing out and we were getting like more and more support every time we do every improvement we make and that's just pretty much where i'm there there was a certain point in 2021 certain time period where a bunch of orgs just started signing a bunch of women's teams and I feel like the free agent scene kind of just, like, frantically, like, tried putting a team together. They're like, okay, like, maybe this is my chance. Like, maybe, like, this team will get picked up. And it it doesn't work like that. You can't just make a team and be like, yeah, like, we're getting signed. It It takes time and effort. And a lot of these free agent teams, if they don't see, like, any victories or just winnings, then they just disband or drop people. But... It's a long process, and mm-hmm. I feel like like some of the orgs, they pick up these teams in the beginning that were initially like just insane. Like The first VCT was insane. People went crazy for it. And now, I feel like a lot of the free agent teams feel discouraged because these orgs, 
are not signing women as much anymore because if they feel like they don't have a chance of beating C9 White, then what's the point of signing, you know? But they just, I feel like they need to think of it differently and just be like, if we support these girls, find them a good coach, good manager, like help them out, that could give that team more of a boost, if that makes sense. Because like right now as a free agent team, like I doubt you're going to take out C9 White who's been practicing for a year with a bunch of resources and help. I'm like, they're insane. Like, <laughs> everyone can admit that. But I just feel like we just need more of a boost, if that makes sense. And I know there's a lot of orgs that are looking, but it's just the mentality that they have that, like, if you can't beat them, then you're just not worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's just hard. That's That's really hard to think about because we'd love to get signed as a team, but if orgs don't see faith in us, then, like, it's just discouraging. So you talked about just kind of the lack of support um, as a free agent team. Could you all touch on some things that you think if if this resource was available or this support system was available for free agent teams, like, that would help tremendously in uh, our growth and getting signed um so do you have any suggestions or ideas of how i don't know riot or whoever can support the free agent teams more women's attorneys like yeah that's just Mm. the main thing right there like i love seeing all of just seeing our friends and it's like like, isn't game changers academy like we don't really see a lot of the signed teams there if I'm being honest, like you mm-hmm. see more of the free agent teams, and that game changer only happens like what twice a year, besides the main event, yeah. or academy at least, like uh, a couple times, if, yeah. Yeah, if we have more academy attorneys, like you'll see a lot more like people going for it, trying to strive mm-hmm. to be like at least number one in that tourney or at least top three. Because if mm-hmm. if they feel that and know that they could at least get there, they're gonna continue going and going. And I just think that's the number one thing that you can ever do. Just keep adding more female attorneys. Yeah, because these teams, we need experience. Like, we're getting our experience through, like, co-ed male attorneys, right? But we also want experience with female attorneys, too. So I definitely agree. I mean, it would be nice to win a couple games in a while. But, like, (laughs) after (laughs) losing so many against, like, just co-ed, it's, like, it's, it's hard. It's like, damn, like, because then we're going to go into Game Changers and be like, oh, like, this is a different change of pace because we're so used to just versing these super fast paced, like, run it down male teams. And we haven't played, like, a slow strategic team in a minute, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. So versing, like, other women that are, like, in the same boat as us, just, like, with strats and such, it would would just be a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. Also, coaches. There's not that many coaches that uh, want to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so more tournaments, more coaches. I I, I talked to a player in, in EMEA that said the same thing about coaches, um, not just not having enough. It, it would be cool if there was like a coaching training program or something, so that that they could grow the number. Um, uh, anything else other than those two? Um. Nah, I don't. I think maybe. Well, yeah, we just like the more experience and like the coaching, but mm-hmm. at the same time, like I know like coaches that refuse to coach female teams and they rather just coach male rosters, and that's like ninety percent of them. Yeah, but that's 90%. weird though because like orgs are looking for women's teams. Like orgs are not mm-hmm. looking for male teams as much. So it's like, mm-hmm. why wouldn't you want to help us mm-hmm. and then get picked up with us exactly. and get paid like? It's yeah. a much easier chance to get signed as a coach on a women's team than a male's team. I mean, oh, it's also man. the same reason why we get bashed and ranked, so True. I don't know. True, the logic, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's not really there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's interesting, though, like, the logic you mentioned, and um, it, it was cool seeing, like, Shinobi and Emil, like, want to coach uh, a women's team, but, yeah, it would be cool if there were even more... Um, experienced people wanting to to coach. Mm -hmm. I agree. 
So you all talked about your drive to compete in Game Changers, and you spoke a little bit about just competing in literally any tournament you can. Um, could you touch a bit more on what your like very next plans are for the year? As Our team? very next plans, I feel like, as a team... Our goal is just to just eliminate all our competition. I'm just leave it at that. Just know if y'all think it's shots fired, just know we're coming <laughs> loaded. I sincerely, I I mean, for the future, I sincerely feel like we have a chance against just these signed professional women. And um, I mean, with all the experience that we have and all this confidence. And especially getting, like, that C9 Mel shout-out, like, exactly. we're, <laughs> the energy is flowing, like, we're ready, like, we just want Game Changers, like, tomorrow. Like, we just want to take out everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess everyone's goal in the future is to get signed, you know, represent an org, call them family, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, for me personally, it's not about the money. I know some people, like, really need the money. I mean, money is nice, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> but, <laughs> but I do want just, like, the respect and, like, the reputation. Just like, oh, that's, like, FaZe Quadia! <laughs> like, just an example. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, that would be amazing. Just, just showing off, like, who you are and, like, who you represent. Just setting a good example. Yeah. I mean, they kinda, they, <laughs> yeah, I'm all about the money. <laughs> I don't care about the work. Yeah. I want the money. <laughs> if ain't about the money, don't be throwing me up because I ain't giving up. Sorry. <laughs> they, they I mean, is there touched up on it? Like, I don't know. They already said like our team goals and stuff. Mm -hmm. and what we want for me personally, I just want to do something I love. Like, it's it's so cheesy and. To me, it's kind of stupid, but I would love to just play Valorant for a living. And frankly, I would love to prove my parents wrong or my entire family. Oh, wrong. God. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Immigrant parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not even from America. Not even born here. <laughs> like, I, have, I have very strict parents with like very strict beliefs being um, half Asian and, and then like quarter of mexican and filipino like they originally wanted me to become a doctor oh. and when i dropped out of college yeah i know right <laughs> and when i dropped out of college all hell broke loose with my family and then when i told them exactly what i wanted to do it was shocking that like my mexican side supported me but seeing my asian side just give me that nasty look and attitude like i just really want to prove them wrong because i know i can do this and I know I can make it with my team. Hey, I didn't know you dropped out. Yeah. Did we drop out together? <laughs> That's actually kind of romantic. I, um, <laughs> I dropped out, like, last year. Yeah, me as too. A, well, it's obviously financial issues. Like, yes, money is great, like Claude said. But it's just not about that. It'd be nice. I, could, I would love to help my family. The immigrant parent thing, that's, like, an yeah. intense, like... Yeah, it's so bad. It it's, is. like, they don't... It's we're a new generation it's like and a like joke. yeah. I tell them like how much money is like in it and they're like mm, nah, okay. I'm well, like, like the second that you make it though, guess what? They're gonna be all happy for you. They're gonna say they were proud of you and stuff, like Yeah. I won't sure. like, if somebody says if one of them says that to me, I'm gonna spit it in their face and say, like, you didn't help you didn't support me when I needed it the most. Yeah. Like, I love you, but nah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like majority of us here, like, we have a, like, our family doesn't support us. Like, I know mine don't. Like, I work pretty much full-time, school part-time, and I deal with that full-time. So mm -hmm. it's just, like, always having, like, that negativity in the back of your mind when you want your family there the most, right? They're just not there for you. But mm -hmm. I know my teammates are. You know, they're my, like, I honestly consider my team my family honestly because they're like the closest thing i have to like a good support system and they encourage me every day and i definitely hope i'm doing the same for y'all too you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah i don't know about that <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa i'm kidding i'm kidding i mean it's hard though like 
I feel bad. Like, I just feel bad being closed off in my room for hours on end and just, like, Same. just, like, a little recluse. Like, I'm, like, damn, like, I should be out there, but, like, this is, like, my life. Like, this mm -hmm. is what I want to do. And I just mm -hmm. feel bad, like, leaving my room, like, twice a day. <laughs> I'm, like, hey, guys. Like, yeah, I'm still alive. Oh God, like, do you ever <laughs> get asked when you leave your room, like, did you win your tourney? Like, did you make money and stuff? Or, like, what do you do? It's like, always it's always about the money. Like, it's streaming always. and tourney and... Exactly. <sighs> Pain. It sounds like Pain. A, a lot to deal with as a, a free agent team. So, definitely best of luck to you in trying to get signed and in, in your next tournaments. Is, is there anything else that you want to say or any plugs you want to make? Mm. Flex? Uh, <laughs> plug? Plug what? Everything. <laughs> the socials, oh, whatever. Oh, we fucking, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we All made right. a new team Twitter. Wait, wait, follow that. Yeah. I just read it me. So, Bums, you can hold on to yours. <laughs> wait, what? I said, if you're going to plug your personal, hold on to yours because I got a shorter list and so does Lex. Damn. <laughs> our, our, if you follow our team twitter our uh our twitters are in the bio of that so there yeah. that makes it easier yeah and usually when you go to our twitters there's like a nice little link tree thing that goes and, on to um, you thank you very stuff. much for the opportunity delta i really appreciate yeah we it. appreciate yeah. that 100%. i'm sorry for weird <laughs> this is how we always are our team <laughs> synergies <laughs> it's it's something <laughs> Well, no, thank you all for coming and, and sharing your, like, infectious energy with us. And I, again, wish you all the best. And you all seem to have the passion and the drive to want to make it to the next step. And so good luck with that. And again, thank you for sharing your story. So if you all want to learn more about X-Res and the players, again, check out their Twitter and stay tuned with Run It Back for more information about how they're doing. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>